Law enforcement is in charge of keeping people safe and must deal with all the problems that come with that job. Luckily, police officers can rely on technology for many parts of their job. In the past few years, artificial intelligence has become an important part of police work all over the world. AI-based police technology is becoming more and more important to law enforcement. This is causing big changes in areas like crime prevention and crime prediction. Predictive policing is just one of the changes that have come about because of this change. In the name of public safety, other policing practices are also going through big changes. In today's video, we'll talk about AI and police work. But before we start our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well. So let's get started. Number 1. Facial Recognition Police departments can't do their jobs without face recognition technology. Using image data, police officers can use facial recognition to find criminals on the run and find missing people. If you've ever seen footage from a street camera, you know how low quality these images are. As you may imagine, reviewing these images for key information is difficult and labor-intensive. Many police departments don't even have enough people or experts to do all the image analysis they need to solve all their cases. AI in law enforcement promises to match faces more accurately and faster than people can. Machines can use parameters to recognize faces even better than humans can. Some AI technology today is so advanced that it can find a single face in a stadium full of people. This helped China catch a thief at a sports event last month. Number 2. Cameras In most big cities, there are cameras on the streets and in stores everywhere. A lot of the time, police use this footage to look back at crimes and catch criminals. AI can not only recognize faces in these pictures, but it can also recognize objects and complex events like car accidents. Police officers who are trying to keep an eye on big events like music festivals or marathons need to be able to identify objects. Officers can use AI in law enforcement because they can't be everywhere at once. AI can send an alert if someone in the area has a gun or is acting strangely and may be a threat. Object identification can also be used for other things. AI can tell what kind of car it is by looking at street footage and comparing it to a list of known traits. For example, the machine could show you every blue minivan that went through a certain intersection in an hour. This helps when police are looking for a stolen car or a criminal on the run and need to find answers quickly. Law enforcement agencies are also working with drone cameras, which allow them to explore more surface area and engage in quicker search and rescue efforts. These drones are already built with AI that can recognize faces and objects. Number 3. Predictive Policing AI predictive policing refers to the ability to predict where crimes will occur, the individuals who will commit them, the types of crime, and who the victims will be. Predictive policing is a controversial topic, but it is still a long way from being common. Predictive policing systems are just now being put to the test by businesses and police departments. These systems could eventually provide significant strides forward in predicting and ideally preventing crimes. AI in law enforcement when it comes to figuring out where crimes will happen. Algorithms can look at crime rates in different areas and make a map of high crime areas. This tells the police to pay extra attention to these areas and patrol and watch them more closely. AI is also able to paint a better picture of who is at risk for committing a crime and who will likely re-offend once released from prison based on data collected and analysis of historical patterns. Naturally, there's some controversy over what should be done about this information and more debate to be had as this practice grows in use. Predictive policing might be most helpful when it comes to figuring out who is likely to be a victim of a crime in the future. Researchers are trying to find ways to stop elder abuse before it happens by learning more about the circumstances that make it possible and using that knowledge to predict what kind of abuse is most likely. Even though elder abuse is one use case, think about what predictive policing could mean for a whole range of other violent crimes. Number 4. Robots no, we're not close to having robots take over all our police jobs anytime soon. But police departments are now using robots to do everything from boring to dangerous jobs. 
Some countries do try out robots that can take the place of police officers. Dubai is trying out robots on the streets that can send information back to headquarters so that people there can look at it. They're also equipped with touch screens for reporting crimes and can communicate in six different languages. Police officers can also use robots to do more complicated jobs. They can go into dangerous places and find people and things that could be dangerous. This is safer than sending police officers into dangerous situations. There are robots that can also blow up bombs, which makes the public safer and keeps police officers out of harm's way. Number 5. Nonviolent Crimes because AI is strong at discovering deviations in patterns, it is a useful tool for detecting non-violent crimes such as fraud and money laundering. AI is already being used by financial institutions as a significant component of their security, and law enforcement agencies are collaborating with these institutions to apprehend criminals who commit crimes of this nature. Artificial intelligence can discover counterfeit goods and cash by evaluating photos, and it has a good likelihood of getting it right. It can discern finer details than the naked eye of a human being. This Future Grasp article written by Tom Campbell has additional information about the applications of AI in the work of law enforcement. What's the future of AI in law enforcement? AI may still be new to law enforcement, so not all its uses may not have been thought of yet. Still, it is already making a difference in key areas like surveillance, preventing crime, and solving crimes. With better imaging technologies, object and face recognition, and other AI tools, officers don't have to do as many labor-intensive tasks. This gives them more time to work on more complicated tasks. AI also may capture criminals that would otherwise go free and solve crimes that would otherwise go undetected. Predictive policing is also something to keep an eye on because it could change how criminals are caught and how victims are found. In an ideal world, predictive policing will protect the public even more than before. However, as systems get smarter, there are still some bugs to work out. No one knows how these changes will affect the job of a police officer or how they will improve public safety. One thing is certain. The results will probably have a big effect on all of us. That's it for today. We hope you found our video informative. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.